What's going on, brother? Not much. How are you, man? Good, 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 man. Yeah, you know what? I am horrible at looking at Instagram stuff, and I said, you know what? Let me just go down my list. I can't tell you how many people, Fred, that literally – I've been ghosting and did not know. I just started going in and following back everybody. <laughs> oh, you're good, man. I figured. I was like, I'll just send it to him. You know, I think he might be interested in this, you know. So I appreciate you oh, getting no. back to me. Always, brother. You know, um, first off, you know, let people know, man. Uh, let's shout you out in the beginning, man. Let people know your social medias and all that. Uh, yeah, we're uh, Fred's Produce on Instagram. Uh, there's a, two of us, me and the boss, man. Uh, and then we both have Twitter. Um, mine's, uh, I don't know what my Twitter is right now. I've got locked out. So screw it. <laughs> freedom you know. of speech, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. What kind of truck you running? It's a 2020 W9. It's uh, two years old. It's got only 200,000 miles on it. Um, uh, boss man turned me loose in it and. You know, I, that was a big step. He worked really hard for this truck, you know. He worked ass off for years Man. and finally got it, and he needed help, and I, I took over the truck, and then we bought another one last year, a 389, one of the last ones with all the gauges in it before the digital stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got one of those now and another trailer, and, you know, so here we are out here trying to make a living, you know. And then what happens? What's going on in this situation? Uh, play it out for me, brother. What, what truck right. are you in? What's going on? So I'm driving the W9, and uh, I'm cruising into St. Louis, 5 o'clock on Saturday. Just got loaded uh, down in Carthage with cheese. I'm, I'm 75,400 pounds, fully loaded, you know, cruising down the highway, minding my own business, doing nothing but minding my business. And... Here this guy comes, you know, and I'm the speed limit's 55. You saw in the video that the the speed limit sign is in the video. I couldn't have gotten a better better dash cam, you know, spot there. And he comes up two lanes over, and I see the move, my exit, you know. Oh. Uh. And and I do as soon as I saw it, I tensed up, grabbed the steering wheel, white knuckled it, death gripped. You know, my fingers hurt, my knuckles hurt, my wrist hurt, my forearms hurt after that you know and he comes over and i'm like oh no 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 and i hit the brakes you know i'm surprised I didn't break the pedal and um well we came into contact and he then jumped that other car that pickup and uh, came to a stop uh when i looked back at the e-log uh we used motive and i was looking at the telematics uh my braking force was 14 miles uh an hour per second I came from a stop from 51 miles an hour to zero in less than four seconds. That that was impressive. I, I can't believe I did that. Um, <laughs> you I know, can't, like it. It looks so crazy, but uh, you were telling me everybody's okay, huh? Yeah, everybody walked away, and there were four people in that Durango, and um, they were all fine. Like you know, I we stopped. I pulled up next to them. I called 911. That's a whole nother story. And um, I, I got out, and the pickup truck driver had walked back. It was him and another person. And I asked if everybody was all right. And then I just walked away, man. I walked down the highway 150 feet because I, I was I, – A, you don't want to talk to them. Nobody should talk to anybody in a situation like that. Mm. But, B, I was about to lose it. And I called our accountant because I knew I couldn't call the boss man because I knew how he was going to take it. And I called her. She's on vacation. And I call her and I tell her and I just, I, I lost it. Like I was screaming. I was yelling. I was, I was having a moment and got calmed back down. And, um, you know, I went back to the truck and I pulled the dash cam. That's the first thing I did. And I was on the CB radio, like, Hey guys, left lanes blocked and nobody was paying Smart. attention. Yeah. Cause no, like it, the traffic was backing up behind me. It's five o'clock on a Saturday. It's not that bad, but there's a Cardinals game and that's yeah. where they all were going. They were all going to the Cardinals game, and, you know, that's the exit. That was the exit. And so I just got on the radio, and the cops finally showed up 25 minutes later. Ambulance never showed up. You know, you would you would think, right, accident like that. You know, that's I had, crazy. We, we pulled the bumper out. I drove to a truck stop, Ubered to the hospital, you know, to get checked out. To 
contest because DOT didn't show up either that I requested multiple times, you know. You know, that's so smart that we bring that up right now, you know, for all the truck drivers out there. Hey, mm -hmm. regardless of the situation, go get a test, you know, yep. uh, just cover yep. all your bases because yep. a lot of times these insurance companies, man, they'll use yep. anything that they can to make it your fault. Oh, yep. didn't get a test. That's that's yep. on, that's on Fred, you know. Mm -hmm. um, now, yep. as this is going on, uh, I mean – Clearly, from the dash cam, it's one thousand percent that yeah. Durango's fault. Yep. But yep. if you didn't have that dash cam, do you think the game oh. would have changed? Oh, it it would have because uh, as soon as the first cop showed up, he didn't like. I asked him right away about uh, a DOT and a state trooper minimum because he was a city cop, and you know he he uh, he went and talked to pickup truck driver and the other kids. You know, first he didn't even talk to me. Um, and two other cops showed up and they were taking my information and we were just can't stand in their bullshit, you know? And they're like, so what happened? And I'm like, well, here's the video. And they looked at the video and went, holy crap, he needs a reckless driving ticket and improper lane change. They went and grabbed the other cop who was, uh, you know, in charge because he was the first one on the scene. And they pulled him aside and said, hey, you need to look at this video. And he wouldn't do it. Not until after he took my statement and let the other, let everybody else go. So really? So they said he, uh... yeah. You know, what What does that, I mean, I'm not going to put words into anyone's mouth, but it's like, it's like, why do we always look like it's the trucker's mm -hmm. fault, like right away, right? Like, right. Yeah. That's well, been I mean, the truck driver's fault. Like yeah. I mean, it looked like it, right? I mean, because I it obviously rear ended them, right? I mean, but you don't know that until you see the video where they did an improper lane change, you know, right in front of me to, to an exit that they, you know, clearly had missed. So, yeah, it looked like my fault, but without seeing the video, they didn't know that. You know, yeah, and, and that's listen. crazy. Yeah, and that's crazy because when you think about that, yeah, when when a semi truck rear ends anything, it's almost yep. like automatic. The truck driver mm -hmm. wasn't paying attention and crushed into yep. this four wheeler. So, I mean, uh, what dash cam is that? I'm not here to sponsor any dash cams, but which one is it that you're using? Uh, it's a it's a VOFO, V I. Uh, VIOFO, you can get them on Amazon. It's the A119 that I have. They're like 120 yeah. bucks. I mean, hey, it looked clear. Yeah. It looked clear to me. And where did you, uh, where do you pin it so that people know where to put the dash? Because sometimes, man, people send me dash cams and it's like you can't even see the situation, right? Yeah, yeah. No, um, it mine's like right in the split of the windshield. Uh, because I've got the, the two, two piece windshield. It's right there right. in the middle, right in the top. You know, it's out of everybody's way. You know, they can't say anything, they shouldn't say anything about it being up there. And you aim it so you just get a little bit of the hood and everything mm -hmm. in front of you. I think it's 180 degrees or 170 degree view on that one. And it's That's it's perfect. 2K. Um, that was only a 30 frame a second. It does 60 frames. It just takes up too much space, you know, on the card. But that's the other thing is you got to get a high endurance card. You got to make sure it's a good um, SD card you know, to go with it because they, they write and write and write and they take all the heat and everything up there on the windshield. So it's a, it's a tough environment. Um, I've had I that one for you. two years, two and a half years, and it's it's flawless. There it you is, know. you know, all you mother truckers, you know. Hey, save mm -hmm. some money, grab it, because uh, pretty much Fred uh, would be non-existent right now <laughs> if yeah. he did not yeah, have that, <laughs> that yep. dash cam. Yep, that's it, man. Yeah. So... I appreciate you, bro. You know, uh, thank you for jumping on. You know, I like to show just real life situations in real time just to let truck drivers know, hey, man, grab a dash cam and, yeah. you know, do the proper steps. And after having this conversation, hey, a lot of times law enforcement doesn't even know the procedure. Right. So right. go out and go get a, a, a test yourself if you got to. Or if you're a yeah. fleet owner, go make your driver go uh, take a test right away, you know. If something like yep, this happens, cover all your bases, you know, um, and any other information that you want to share about this or hopefully this doesn't become a court matter or anything like that. You know, I, I hope it doesn't. We'll see, you know, there's um, the truck is drivable, but there's some some frame damage and some other things. I mean, the hood's cracked, so it's it's going to be a process. Our insurance is on top of it. They've been absolutely wonderful. They've already said we're denying any claims that come towards us, you know, so oh, awesome. We'll, awesome. Uh, We'll see how it goes, but yeah, you know, I, I don't want to say you know. too, too much. So. No, no, no. And that's why we're, we're, we're staying uh, out of it, you know, because uh, we're just here 
for the educational reasons of what to yeah. do and what you know um and what not to do and yeah. awesome man uh i'll talk to you later and uh, i'll wait for some of those images when you send them to me yeah yeah we'll do appreciate it man you have a good day all right brother peace Bye.